breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Youth leaders allege plot to kill Kanu. Youth leaders allege plot to kill Kanu. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Hodge Britain to evacuate IPOB leader. Coalition of Southeast Youth Leaders Kosovo has alleged plans to assassinate the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Unamde Kanu. The President General of the Southeast Based Group, Goodluck Ibe, stated at the weekend. The attention of Kosovo, the apex socio-political youth group in the southeast geopolitical zone, has been drawn to a terror alert by the United States intelligence in Abuja, which led to the evacuation of U.S. citizens and other nationals from Abuja to avoid being victims of the attack by Fulani terrorists and jihadists. The U.S. in the past had proven to be accurate in its intelligence gathering and should be taken seriously by any action, any nation that means well for our, nation, for our citizens. Unfortunately, the Nigerian government that has no capacity on intelligence gathering is ignoring and challenging terror alerts by the U.S when it has not been able to stop any terror attack in the past. According to him, while the terrorists while the terrorists are overrunning the country, federal government officials who can hardly travel to their villages because terrorists run roughshod and their farmers pay taxes to terrorists to cultivate their farms are giving people hope and saying no cause for alarm. Kosei added, the discovery of some explosives and arrest of some terrorists in Abuja, another part of the country is a confirmation that the U.S. terror warning is real, which calls for proactive measures to stop the attack. The planned terror attack just after a court of appeal judgment that discharged and acquitted the IPOB leader confirms the grand conspiracy by some forces in power to hide under the guise of a terror attack to assassinate the IPOB leader in DSS custody in Abuja. The statement alleged that continued incarceration of Kanu after the appellate court ruling was indicative that there was surreptitious plan to kill him. Kanu has been discharged and acquitted by the Court of Appeal. Abu Jalan keeping him in DSS custody confirms the plot to assassinate him using the terror attack to cover up the involvement of some forces. Since Great Britain is evacuating our citizens from Abuja over the planned terror attack, we call on Britain to also evacuate Kanu, who is a British citizen from Abuja, at the same time. Hodge Britain to evacuate type of leader, Coalition of Southeast Youth Leaders Kosovo has alleged plans to assassinate the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Lipo, Unam de Kanu. The President General of the Southeast Beast Group, Goodluck Ibem, stated at the weekend, the attention of Kosel, the apex socio-political youth group, in the Southeast geopolitical zone, 
has been drawn to it all a lot by the United States intelligence in Abuja, which led to the evacuation of U.S. citizens and other nationals from Abuja to avoid being victims of the attack by Fulani terrorists and jihadists. The U.S. in the past had proven to be accurate in its intelligence, gathering and should be taken seriously by any nation that means well for our citizens. Unfortunately, the Nigerian government that has no capacity on intelligence gathering is ignoring and challenging terror alert by the U.S when it has not been able to stop any terror attack in the past. According to him, while the terrorists are overrunning the country, federal government officials who can hardly travel to their villages because terrorists run roughshod and their farmers pay taxes to terrorists, to cultivate their farms are giving people hope and saying no cause for alarm. Kose added the discovery of some explosives and arrest of some terrorists in Abuja. Another part of the country is a confirmation that the US terror warning is real, which calls for proactive measures to stop the attack. The planned terror attack just after a court of appeal judgment that discharged and acquitted the IPOB leader confirms the grand conspiracy by some forces in power to hide under the guise of a terror attack to assassinate the IPOB leader in DSS custody in Abuja. The statement alleged that continued incarceration of Kano after the appellate court ruling was indicative that there was surreptitious plan to kill him. To my dear listeners, now 